Welcome, friends, for another fabulous episode of Bout Tea. Here we're doing a live episode of the Essence of Tea podcast, and I'm so glad that you're joining me today. I'm actually really liking this time of year. It's definitely one of my favorite seasons, and I wanted to show you some fun things with the fall and the holidays and the winter coming up, some fun things that you can do with tea, and one that isn't actually tea, but is very festive that we specialize at Sipping Streams with. So even though Sipping Streams is a tea company, which I'm the owner and founder of, and we've won 11 international awards, we also do more than just tea. We also specialize in local honey, and we even manufacture our own hot chocolate, kombucha, and sourdough starter, and we make amazing, absolutely amazing, fabulous, homemade steamed dumplings, bami sandwiches, scones, pastries, tea sandwiches, all about the world and the cuisine of tea. So today, going along the theme with the festive holidays, I have my digital kettle starting to roar right now, and we're going over our apple masala chider. So if you really, really love this recipe, stay tuned. So one of the very first things that you'll need is some masala chai. So masala means mixed spices in Hindi and chai means tea. So it's your typical Indian spiced tea. This one is one of our own recipes. It's got organic black tea, organic cardamom, pink pepper, cinnamon, ginger, and some vanilla flavor in there. And I'm going to make it in a small eight ounce cup because I'm going to make a new drink out of the masala chai. So we've got our temperature of our digital kettle set to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. You can use this to change it to Celsius also. So the nice thing about these digital kettles, besides their beautiful gooseneck, so there's no drip, is that you can set it precisely to the temperature off by maybe one degree. You can even program your own preferred temperatures on here too. So it's really easy to use. You can change it by the exact temperature or pre-program it also. So I'm going to make a regular cup of masala chai. I'm not going to make double strength. I'm just going to make a regular strength cup of masala chai. Oh my goodness. And it already smells so strong, so beautiful with all of its whole spices. So I have my wooden tea scoop here. I'm going to put in scoop of masala chai and it's got cloves in it also this does have caffeine in it but the ratio of the recipe of the masala is that it's got a lot of spices in it too so it's only about half tea actually so it's like medium to medium low end of tea and what we're going to do by creating this cup of tea into a variation is that it's going to cut the caffeine amount even less so if you're concerned about caffeine this is a great one to make with your kids, with your family for the holidays. You could even make it in a gigantic crock pot if you wanted to for a Thanksgiving holiday celebration or a Christmas coming up. Hello, welcome. And go ahead, if you're watching live right now, go ahead, say hello in the chat. And let me know if you've ever subscribed yet to our Essence of Tea podcast. So now that my temperature is approaching 200, you'll hear the kettle quiet down into this rumbling, brisk, rolling boil. Lots of agitation, lots of big bubbles in there. And it's going to actually slow down its heating element because it wants to stop it right at the perfect temperature. Sometimes it might start roaring up again because it hasn't quite met the temperature, but it's sensing it. I love this kettle because you can set it to the exact temperature that you want it to be at. Oh, and our second beverage that we're going to make today is actually a hot cocoa. Like I said, we also make five different types of hot cocoa mixes in-house at our tea house, which is actually a factory. So let me grab that too. So we have our salted caramel apple hot chocolate that I'll be showing you how to make. 
All right, perfect. It's at the perfect temperature right now. So I'm going to steep my tea about three to five minutes. And this is just going to be eight ounces of water in this beautiful double, double wall glass. So while it's steeping there, I'll be showing you about our vegan, soy-free, dairy-free, salted caramel apple white cocoa. And it actually is green apple looking. It's got really fun flavors in it. And one of the craziest things is people say, why is it green? Well, it's to help people realize that it tastes like a green apple, like a sour apple. So let's see here. Well, the masala chai is steeping for us to make our apple masala chider, we'll be making the salted caramel apple white cocoa, but it's green in color and it actually isn't chocolate at all because it's dairy free and it is soy free too. So it's this bright green color and we like to put a bag inside of our canisters for the cocoa powders just because well, it's powder, and so sometimes it kind of like leaks out of the seam. So keeping it nice and fresh. And so you'll put in two tablespoons of this all bright green powder, bright green powder. And it literally smells like salted caramel right now. We, this is actually our most popular hot cocoa blend, believe it or not. It's absolutely crazy. And people go, wow, how would you do that? It literally tastes like all the flavors. Well, that's our own recipe. That's, well, that's my recipe that I came up with. We actually had a gourmet dessert company approach me a long time ago, early in my business. And I was put on the Made in Alaska directory because we're Made in Alaska certified. All of our teas and our cocos and our products are made in-house, hand blended in-house. So. Because I was already in this directory for Made in Alaska products, I figured I might as well put our hot cocoa because one day I ran out of Swiss Miss and I thought, you know, my friend Christy always makes us hot cocoa powders for Christmas. You know, that means it must be really easy to make hot cocoa. And we had run out of Swiss Miss. So I just grabbed the cocoa powder and some sugar and I just made our own hot cocoa powder for in-house use. Well, some dessert company saw that and was like, oh my goodness, we want gourmet hot chocolates made for us. I wonder if they could do that. And I love a challenge, and especially if it has to do with gourmet foods, being a foodie, creating new recipes and such. So they actually had me make them two hot cocos. They wanted me to make them an Alaskan blueberry hot chocolate and then the salted caramel apple white cocoa. Well, several, several recipes later, versions later of this one, we have now perfected our salted caramel apple white chocolate. And it literally tastes like a green candy apple that you would have at the state fair or something like that. Let me grab a spoon to stir that. Can you believe it? Isn't that so crazy looking? Very, very festive, ghoulish perhaps, but apple just in time for fall. And it's also dairy-free, vegan, and soy-free too. It only has, and it has all the nutrition information on here, it only has 45 calories per serving. Like 45, that's it. And no, there is... I cannot stand artificial sweeteners, so I don't use anything that has to do with processed stevia or anything that, like that. It literally just has sugar in it. Oh my goodness, and it smells amazing. Look how bright and beautiful that is. Just so shockingly bright green. So most people are just surprised, absolutely surprised by this bright neon green color. But when they taste it, they all say, how did you do it? It literally tastes like salted caramel apple, like a green apple. And somehow this is like a hot cocoa beverage and it kind of tastes a little bit creamy like a white chocolate. Oh, perfect.
perfect, perfect. So for me, I like my drinks a little less sweet. So I only put two tablespoons in this about 12 to 14 ounce mug, which is just perfect for me. I don't like it too candy sweet, but usually you would actually put less water, eight ounces of hot water, two tablespoons of the salted caramel apple white cocoa powder. But for me, this is a perfect cup of sweet. Whoa, the green apple just totally hits the back of your mouth. Absolutely amazing. So this isn't a tea, but this is a beverage that we invented at Sipping Streams Tea Company. You can get this online at sippingstreams.com. It is our most popular hot cocoa, even though we make five different kinds of hot chocolate mixes. Now that we have our tea steeping, our masala chai that's steeping, and it's nice and golden right now. That golden black tea, that chai color, you'll see in this beautiful glass mug, I'm gonna show you a very quick, super fun and delicious tea recipe with the masala chai blended with apple cider. That's it. As you see here, it's just, it literally says old fashioned, 100% pure apple cider, right? And all it is is a one-to-one -one ratio, super easy to do. So just pour in half your mug of apple cider, pure 100% apple cider. And you notice I didn't put any sugar or any honey into my masala chai. I don't need to. Apple has so much of its fructose already. You know, it's fruit sugar. And so I don't need to add any sweetener in it at all. Now, this can be fun also to add with whipped cream. We do have a lot of customers who do order with whipped cream. Now, I'm going to try to quickly pour it in to the apple cider. And that's it. Super fun, festive, delicious apple masala cider. Oh, and you taste all the spicy notes with it. And, oh, it's just so smooth, slightly sweet, but not super sweet because... I don't know about you, but for me, when I drink a lot of apple cider or I eat a lot of apples, I kind of get an upset stomach and it does have a lot of sugar and acids in it. So it's almost like it's diluting the sugar, obviously, in the amount it is, how much sugar there is that you would normally have in the same volume, the 16 ounce volume of apple cider. You are now diluting it with tea. Very, very good for you. Healthy tea with spices, natural spices in it. And you instantly made almost like a mulling spice, but you made it with your masala chai. So this is a super fun recipe. If you want a coupon for our masala chai, send me a rating and review of the podcast, the Essence of Tea podcast, and I'll send you a coupon for our masala chai. Now, make sure you take a picture of your screen grab, the screenshot of your rating review for the Essence of Tea podcast. We would love for you to help boost our new podcast and get more recognition out there. So if you write a rating review on Apple Podcasts or anywhere that you can, because we're on a number of different platforms for our podcast, please take a screenshot before you submit it, submit that rating and review and email it to me at hello at sippingstreams.com. I'll instantly send you a coupon that you can use for our masala chai with the recipe for that. So I really hope you enjoyed this amazing episode about tea during our Essence of Tea podcast, even though half of it was tea and half of it was hot cocoa. And I sure hope you have a really fun festive holiday this year.